Every hour and every minute, I thank God for giving me faith in Him. <sighs> to penetrate someone else's life, or my own for that matter, to its most intimate depths, is terribly painful for me but pleasurable as well. It's pleasant to remember, sad and somehow sweet to lose myself in the past. My dear, kind Mademoiselle Fanny, I will never leave my piano, the piano that gives me such happiness when I am sad. Beloved Mama, kiss all my sisters, brothers, and cousins for me, and tell them I don't eat honey anymore, since no one here at the academy gives me any. to accept the thought that my mother, who I loved so, and who was such a wonderful person, has disappeared forever, and that I'll never again have the chance to tell her that I love her just the same, even after all these years. Music is the best gift that heaven can give to a person lost in darkness. I 
became more and more convinced that there was no other path for me. Inspiration does not come to the lazy, it only comes to those who call it. Slowly, quietly but steadily, fame will come if I am fated to be worthy of it. I can swear that I've lived all my compositions, felt them, that they came directly from my soul. Desiree Arto is a marvelous singer. We care for each other, but our story came to an end on its own. In Warsaw, she fell in love with Padilla, the baritone, and married him. Dear father, your son has decided to marry a girl who is poor, but kind and honest. Or I can't decide whether I'm happy or miserable. I know only one thing. I'm in no condition to work now. I am troubled. My mind is not clear. Dear Madame von Meck, I stood on the brink of a precipice. I owe my salvation and my life to our friendship. When I am composing in those places where I am most inspired, I am speaking to you knowing that no one will feel them as keenly as you. How can I express those sensations, so difficult to define, that one experiences when composing a piece of music, that musical confession? I've never met anyone more in love with his Russian motherland than I. I do believe that Madame von Meck is ill and cannot write to me. I am distressed, dismayed, and to be frank, deeply offended that she has completely lost interest in me. Since I have been able to go into my little hiding place and be always alone, I have been so happy. The notes have been my only company. God, what an inscrutable and complicated machine the human organism is. No matter how you examine yourself, you will never understand the reasons for all the various events of your spiritual and material life.
fame. On the one hand, I want it. I strive to reach it. On the other hand, it seems hateful to me. I want people to find comfort in my music. But alas, the thought that someday they will try to get inside the world of my thoughts, my feelings, of everything I have carefully hidden from the touch of the crowd throughout my life, is both trying and sad. In the heavens, perhaps, there will be no music. Let us live on the earth while there is life in us yet.